what if ai can read your mind so a person is being presented with an image of a bear over here and simultaneously an fmri is captured so the fmri captures brain's activity when a person is looking at this image now using the fmri signals can an ai program reconstruct this image so the authors have uh, this paper have tried to achieve that okay and they call this approach as mind eye a novel fmri to image approach to retrieve and reconstructed viewed images from brain activity okay so this particular model consists of two parallel sub modules that are specialized for retrieval and reconstruction okay so what mind eye does over here is that there is a high level semantic pipeline and a low level perceptual pipeline so the high level pipeline consists of a mlp backbone okay which maps uh, basically which maps flattened voxels your fmri voxels to this particular dimension of 257 into 768 now this is fed to a diffusion prior as well as to a mlp projector this mlp projector maps this into the clip image embedding space okay you also have the set of input images along with the set of fmri signals right now the input images are given to the clip uh, what do you call clip ai model which generates a clip image embedding okay now using contrastive loss you can improve this mapping right such that you can actually retrieve the images directly from a database right so this is the retrieval part so parallelly this mlp backbones output is also fed to a diffusion prior which is aligned to generate using diffusion model your uh, reconstructed image okay so this is a semantic pipeline right so now there is a low level perceptual pipeline also what this does is that it maps this fmri voxels into stable diffusion variational auto encoder space okay and then this uh, embeddings can be given as input to stable diffusion decoder to get low level reconstruction okay so the low level image uh, you know it kind of um, generates what you call it lacks high level semantic content but it gets the low level image now using this low level image using image to image you can construct higher quality image and then give it as an input to the diffusion encoders along with this diffusion um, aligned embeddings to get your final reconstructed image so over here a subject has actually seen this particular image and his or her brain activity is recorded and using that fmri signals this is the finally reconstructed image which is quite close to the original image okay so here are some uh, results okay so a subject is actually presented with a particular image of a zebra among different images of zebra it actually uh, this model is actually able to find the image this particular image okay that is what they have shown over here okay so mind eye finds exact top one image pair from the test set of 982 images with 93.2% accuracy that is what they are saying over here okay so this is this retrieval part right uh, you can also retrieve the nearest neighbor in the clip space in leon 5b database over here so given this is the seen image this is the retrieved image which is also quite close right a tennis court over here a tennis court over here a bird over here and this is the bird which has been retrieved a bus is seen and this is the retrieved image okay so this is the retrieval part right now if you look at reconstruction part this is the reconstruction results okay so some of the results are quite close in terms of semantics over here and some of the results are these are uh, results from the other papers all right so image seen in mri so this is the uh, result of this particular paper these are other works so what they are saying is that compared to prior works this work has improved over state of art okay so this work is from the med arc so the authors are from uh, med arc right uh, they are from uh, you know uh, princeton neuroscience institute 
um, they are from University of Toronto, Stability AI from a lot of these different places. Okay. So this is quite interesting work. So I was curious on what is the practical use case of this work, right? So that is where when I was looking at the paper, what they say is that image reconstruction from brain activity can enable various potential societal benefits. So reconstructions are expected to be systematically distorted due to mental state, neurological conditions. So this could enable novel clinical diagnosis and assessment approaches. For example, patients suffering from major depressive disorder might produce reconstructions where emotionally negative aspects of images are more salient. Mind eye results also suggest potential for improved locked in pseudo coma patient communication via fine grained visual communication beyond simple classification as well as brain computer interface performance if adapted to real time fmri analysis or non fmri neuroimaging modalities so ideally if this uh, technique were extended to something like an eeg signals right where you can wear an eeg cap or something and it can reproduce thought it might have different uh, use cases still i am not sure of what are the other possible use cases of this particular uh, technology but this is a uh, work in the right direction right what if an AI can reproduce your thoughts? Only time will tell whether we have such a system in the future and what its use cases will be. For the moment, you can check out this paper to understand more about um, you know, how they have implemented MindEye and other details of the data set and so on. I'll link in this paper. This was a short video on MindEye. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.